today it's freezing and we have some venues on. Outdoor Eaters, welcome back to the channel. This is the second video of our mountain excursion. I am happy to announce that this morning we bought some deer from a local hunter. And for today's cookout we're going to use the oven fireplace that we built in the previous video. I will put the link of the video in the description down below. Go check it out! Our recipe starts with smashing some juniper berries. Then we will take some rosemary, thyme and myron, give it a light chop, smash some garlic and chop everything very finely. In order to make a paste out of it we will also add some olive oil. This is what I was talking about, the star of today's show. This is a whole deer's back. This animal was shot a couple of days ago right in this forest. First thing to do is to remove the fillets. It's important to work very carefully between the meat and the spine. This is a real beauty and the color is fantastic. Well, in case someone was wondering why I am butchering this venison like this, well, the reason is that my first idea was to make some uh, deer cutlets, but then I realized that I just had a bad idea and the best thing to do was just to have two clean loins. The last step was to remove what was left of the bones. If I have to be completely honest, this is the first time for me working on an animal that is just so wild and fresh. Uh, normally I do work with farmed animals and the main difference is that they are way bigger and in some way easier to clean. This is what you get from a deer's back, two loins and two fillets. The last thing to do is to trim the meat by removing all of that skin. This is the final product, the next step is seasoning. And for that I use some salt, pepper and the fresh herbs rub. As always remember to season both sides. And let the meat marinate for a couple of hours. When you're cooking venison one of the best side dishes is polenta. We will also make an awesome wine sauce. So for that melt some butter in a pan, melt some butter also in the polenta water. Once the butter has melted, put some rosemary and infuse the butter. Add 2 tablespoons of flour and cook it for about 2 minutes. Then 
now it's the time to add some red wine. I like to add also some juniper berries and let the sauce cook for about half an hour. When you're making polenta, use about 500 grams of polenta flour for 2 liters of water. Remember to add also some salt and if you feel like also some butter. The polenta needs to be stirred quite frequently and if you're not using instant polenta, it has to cook for about 40 minutes. Remember to remove the juniper berries and the rosemary from the sauce. And this is the consistency that it should have. Add about 2 tablespoons of red currant jam, but for this recipe you can use any kind of berry jam. Once the jam has completely dissolved in the sauce, put the pan aside and don't let it boil again. When you're cooking such a small piece of meat, use high temperature and direct heat. The tenderloin is so small that it will cook in about a minute. Sadly, I had to cook the first two pieces of meat medium well, and while the meat was resting, the polenta was ready. If you like your polenta to be a little bit more runny, just add some more water. Now it's time to spread the polenta on the board and the tool that I'm using is specifically designed for this kind of job. The meat has rested and it was finally time to cut it open. I love this sauce because it's just so silky and shiny and delicious of course. I gave it a try and the meat was still very soft. Well, yes guys, I completely agree with you. There's just no point in overcooking such a fine piece of meat. But I just had to do it because some of my lady friends just do not like rare meat. But anyway guys, here it comes and this is the real deal. The golden rule when you're making venison loin is that the inside has to be just about warm but still raw. And that, my friends, is exactly how it has to be. Sauce on top and now I was ready to give it a real taste. I guarantee that there was a real flavor party going on in my mouth. In one bite I had it all. The meat, the sweetness of the sauce, the freshness of the marinade and that buttery polenta flavor. Simple but effective good stuff. If you guys liked this video, please make sure to watch the next one because we still have some deer left and we're going to make a hunter stew and we're also going to bake Arab bread inside of that stone oven. But anyway, thanks for watching Outdoor Eaters! <laughs>